Hello, I hope that this video finds you happy and healthy and having a good day. I'm going to talk to you a bit today about mindfulness. So it seems to me that mindfulness is a bit of a buzzword and people say it all the time, but not many people actually know what it is. They think that it's about meditation and that is one aspect of mindfulness, but there's so much more to it. So this is just a quick introduction video. If you find it useful or you'd like to hear more about mindfulness, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make more videos soon. I'm also currently studying a mindfulness course to become a real expert in this subject and I'll be offering mindfulness coaching very soon so please let me know if you're interested in that. But moving on to the introduction to mindfulness and just a few simple tools and techniques you can use to become more mindful. So what is mindfulness? It is simply living in the present moment. So right now you may have all sorts of things going through your mind that you need to do later on today, whether it's just what you're going to cook for dinner or a difficult conversation you're going to have, or maybe you're thinking a little bit about the past. And the trouble is we're either thinking about the past or the future or we're on autopilot and we're not actually taking the time to enjoy our lives and enjoy the present moment. So it's very much about training the brain and your mind to live in the now, to appreciate the now and to take in a bit more detail about what's happening in this very minute. It's also about observing how you feel and not getting swept away. So you might feel angry, sad, frustrated or any positive emotion and then you start to sort of think too much about that. So say someone says something that annoys you, you might then attach lots of meaning behind it. You might think of all the other times either they have annoyed you or that you have been annoyed and you're basically stacking those emotions and before you know it you've gone on a whole long train of negative thought. Whereas if you're in the moment you can step back, you can observe your feelings, you can try to be less judgmental and that is really one of the best parts about mindfulness is that you can become calmer, more resilient, and less sort of emotional I suppose, less, less attached to stress. So there's lots of things that have been proven to um, increase or improve when you study mindfulness or when you practice it regularly and there's so many I've written them down because I, I only knew of a few of these and when I was doing my research I found out more. So it can improve your memory, give you quicker reactions, enhance your intuition, it gives you better decision making, better concentration, can reduce anxiety and stress, perhaps that's an obvious one, reduce pain levels, better sleep, increase your self-esteem, better relationships, enable you to reach your full potential, that's a good one, better self-awareness, better able to master emotions, increase your emotional intelligence, that's a good one isn't it, um, increase your resilience in traumatic and upsetting or stressful situations. So when you list all of those benefits who wouldn't want to become more mindful? The trouble is is it takes a bit of effort just like working out takes effort to get fit, um, looking after your mental well-being takes a bit of effort, I'm saying that all the time time. So if you would like to become more mindful, I'm just going to walk you through a few very quick introductory tools and techniques to get you going. Again, talk to me more if you'd like to learn more. I'll make more videos and so on. So the first one you can do is just to study an object. So find an object in the room right now. You can pause the video in a few moments if you'd like to do it right now or do it when the video is finished. And it could be anything. So let's just say it's a plant because there's a plant right in front of me. Now, if I'm being very mindful, I'm going to stare at that plant and I'm going to take in every detail. So I'm going to look at the texture of the leaves, the shape of the leaves, the different shades of green on the leaves. I'm going to look at the plant pot. I'm going to think about how healthy it is. I'm going to think about if it's grown much since I brought it. I'm just going to focus completely on that object. Now you can pick any object in your room, it could be a plant, it could be a candle or an ornament or a sleeping pet or a family member. But if you just take a few moments and study that object and think of all the detail about it, think about how grateful you are to have that thing in your life and just take it all in. That is simply a way to be mindful. And if you just did that every day, just took a few moments away from the constant hamster wheel that life often becomes, then you can find that mindfulness and you can reap some of those benefits. Now that's just a really, really simple one. How about being mindful when you're listening to someone? So it's very easy, especially if someone's been talking for a long time, for your mind to wander. 
try mindful listening, really take in what they're saying and not just the words, but their body language, how they might be feeling, could be sort of shown in the way that they're communicating. Really listen and focus in on them. And if you are a mindful listener, that is definitely going to improve your relationships because you're listening intently, you're you're taking in what people are saying, you're thinking how the best way to respond will be. So mindful listening is a really good one to practice next time you're having a conversation with someone you care about. The next one I'm going to suggest is mindful eating. So we all are trying to eat quickly sometimes. We're trying to just stuff our faces full of delicious goodies goodies whenever we can. Um, You might be eating while you're watching TV or trying to wolf something down on your lunch break before you get back to work. So consider just taking a little bit more time. Obviously, sometimes you're in a rush, but taking a bit more time with your next meal. So think about the textures, the smells, the taste slow down and really focus. Focus on the chewing. Think about how grateful you are to have received this nutrition that is going to benefit your body, hopefully. So mindful eating is a really good one, especially if you feel like you would like to cut down or eat a bit healthier. It just helps you to really focus in on what you're putting into your body. But it's also a way just to calm the mind, stop racing ahead, focus on the present moment. The next one is walking or running, depending on which you prefer. I'm a walker, but if you're not into walking, then running. Next time you're doing one of these activities, basically just take in everything around you. So I quite like to walk sometimes on my own. I mean, I love going with my family, but when it's just me and my dogs, I can really be mindful. So I take in every aspect of that walk. I look at the trees, I look at them blowing in the breeze, I take in that detail, I look at the grass, I look at the buildings, and essentially I'm being a bit more like my dogs because they are always just living in the moment. They're not thinking, oh, what are we gonna do when we get home? They're not thinking about something that happened two days ago or a year ago or whatever. They're just completely living in the moment. And that's why dogs enjoy walks so much because or or life in general so much because they are always living in the moment. So be more dog is my best advice when it comes to mindfulness. If you find that your mind starts to wander and drift, that's okay. Notice that. Noticing it is a big, big step. So notice that. Bring it back to the present moment. Now, lastly, I'm just going to mention meditation. So a lot of people think of meditation when we talk about mindfulness. And meditation is just one of a whole range of mindfulness tools that I will talk to you about more in the coming weeks and months. But there's quite a lot of myths around meditation. First of all, it's not always just sitting cross-legged on the floor in the lotus position. You could be standing while you meditate, you could be sitting in a chair, you could even be laying down if you're not likely to fall asleep. And um, mindfulness, so mindfulness is about the whole world, like being in the moment for your whole world, whereas you know, your whole life even. But being when you're meditating, it's very in, inward looking. So um, you could pra- for practice mindfulness in your everyday life, whereas meditation is something you just stop and actually go and do. Meditation is life changing. It has been proven to have so many benefits. So that is a whole nother video of itself. I'm always recommending it to people because it really can make an impact on you if you become good at meditation. So I'll make a whole nother video on that. But if you're interested in it and you find it hard, then just search on you for a guided meditation video. Contrary to popular belief, meditation is not about clearing all thoughts. That's nearly impossible for most of us. It's actually just about focusing either on your breath or on your body or the present moment or maybe chanting a mantra. There's so many different types. So if you're interested in a meditation video, let me know in the comments below. Look out for some other bits and pieces coming your way on mindfulness and meditation. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please share it with someone who might need it and ask me any questions you've got about mindfulness are below as well and I'll try and answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very grateful that you're here today and I'm wishing you a healthy and happy week ahead. I'll speak to you again soon.